everyone has a first time. A first time for doing an interview. Maybe you are a new manager who has a new team member that you're bringing on board or you're helping another peer, another hiring manager as part of the interview process. Managers, you might be surprised to know that there are illegal interview questions, interview questions that can get you in a lot of trouble, that can put your organization at risk, that could cost you your job. Today, we're going to talk about illegal interview questions, those interview questions that you can't ask. My name is Jessica Miller Merrill. I'm the founder of Workology and the creator of the New Manager Training Program. It's a 12 week coaching and training program for new managers under three years. You can go to workplacemasters.com to learn more. Let's get back to the idea and the topic of illegal interview questions. These questions, if asked during an interview, can get you in a whole lot of hot water and not just you, but also your company and organization. So if you are a manager who is seasoned or new and you haven't ever done an interview before, you really and everyone who's involved in the interview process should go through interview training. You need to understand and learn the types of questions that you can't ask when you do an interview with a job candidate. So that's what we're gonna be walking through today. Interview questions that are illegal that you can't ask your job candidates. And we'll talk about the why and what they are and what's in store if you overstep the line. It'll cost you maybe more than just your job. We've all been through job interviews. They are some of the most nerve wracking times, most stressful because you get questions like, what are your greatest weaknesses? Is this question an illegal interview question that you can get in trouble if you ask? No, it's not my favorite interview question. In fact, I hate this question, but it's not against the law. When we think about interview questions that are illegal, these are interview questions that provide you information about normally a protected class. So that would be things like race, ethnicity, sex, gender, religious beliefs, all these things. If you want to know more about protected classes, up on over here, come on over here. I have a video that we talked about protected classes and what they are in more detail. Before we go into detail on the exact interview questions that you can't ask, I want to talk a little bit about employment laws and the why behind maybe why we can't ask these questions. Some employment laws that as managers and leaders you need to be familiar with as part of understanding the why behind why we can't ask the specific interview questions include the Equal Pay Act of 1963, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Age Discrimination and Employment Act of 1967, and the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. These are all federal employment laws that were put in place to protect certain protected classes or groups of people who are often discriminated against. Remember those laws I just mentioned? We can't ask questions that are related to the job unless they are specific qualification based questions. If they are about the following, we can't ask these questions about things like age, arrest records, somebody's color, their disability, genetic questions, national origin, marital status, their military service, pregnancy status, race, religion, sex, including gender, and their sexual preference. So no, 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 stop. Do not ask questions about these things. I'm gonna repeat them again, just to be clear. Do not, do not ask questions about age, arrest record, color, disabilities, genetics, national origin, military status, marital status, pregnancy status, race, religion, sex, including gender, and sexual preference. You cannot ask job interview questions about these things. You can't say things like, hey, how old are you? Are you 47 or 23? Tell me about a time that maybe you have been convicted of a felony or a misdemeanor. 
No, no, no. We can't ask if you're planning on having children soon, what your sex is, or if you like men, or you prefer women, or if you're fluid. We can't ask questions about somebody's disability, even if it is an obvious disability, if it is a visible or invisible. No, no, no. You can't ask these questions. They are going to end up, you are going to lose your job, and you could make a hiring decision based on a protected class, a legal, and it is the quickest way to lose your job. So don't do it. We can't ask questions like, are you married? Are you pregnant? What is your native language? It is illegal to ask questions and ask if they're active or reserve duty military. We also can't ask questions about their disability. But what happens, what happens when a candidate volunteers that information? We can receive that information, but we can't use this information to make an employment decision. So if somebody tells us that they're pregnant, we cannot use the information that we received during the interview to make a decision on whether or not they're going to be hired to our organization. Same with the other illegal questions and that protected information that I talked about earlier. We can't use that information to make an employment decision. This includes not just interviews, but we can't use this information to promote people to give them more pay or compensation, or to move them into other roles within our organization. These laws are here to protect employees as well as candidates. So if somebody volunteers that information, you are going to just make sure that you don't include that in your interview notes and it isn't part of your consideration or your team's consideration or your company's consideration on whether or not they get the job. As an HR leader, I want my managers involved in the interview and the hiring process every single step of the way. It is critical to make sure that I am bringing in the right people that have the right qualifications for positions within the organization. But managers, if they're going to be involved and they should be involved, need to go through extensive interviewing training. More than just this video, they need to understand questions that they can't ask, questions that they should not, the why behind them, as well as extensive role play. It's important to put yourself as a manager into different situations so you can see how that you're gonna react and you can practice what you should say or shouldn't say so that it can be perfect when you are in the hot seat talking to that candidate on interview day. My name is Jessica Miller Merrill and I'm the founder of Workology and the creator of the new manager training program. It's a 12 week training and coaching program for new managers under three years in position. It is a live and on-demand resource designed to give you real-time training and coaching support to help you as you transition to your new role as a new leader of your organization. If you want to be a part, I would love for you to take a look and learn more at workplacemasters.com. That's a new manager training program, 12-week program, perfect for you. You can learn more about the different courses and offerings we have by visiting learn.workology.com. We have so many different offerings for HR professionals, new managers, and more. I'm here to up-level and upscale and upgrade the workforce focused on human resources and manager and leader positions. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some great insights on what to avoid when it comes to questions that you can't ask in the interview and hiring process. Thank you, thank you for watching this video. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. If you liked what you saw, if you think that it helped you as a manager or workplace leader, let me know in the comments what types of other topics you'd like to learn more about. My name's Jessica Miller-Merrill. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel, and I'll see you soon.